In this video, we want to have some fun. What happens if the sun stands still in the sky? And that means the earth will be tidal lock. Anywhere it's day, it stays day, and anywhere that's night, it stays night. We all know that planet Earth spins around itself every 24 hours creating one day and each year or 365 days it does a spin around the sun when the earth spins around itself it creates night and day and when it spins around the sun it creates seasons but our planet has turned into something like the moon and one side of it is tidal locked to the sun even though one side of the earth is faced to the sun, it's spinning around itself once per year. And the moon does the same exact thing. And that is why you can only see one side of it. This is exactly what tidal locked means. After this, one side of our planet is hot and sunny. The other side is extremely cold and dark. If this happens, do you know what's the best place to live? The twilight zone. And that's the edge of darkness and light. In scientific terms, this area is called the Terminator Line, and it's kind of similar to the Goldilocks zone of planets in a solar system. Like Earth in the solar system is located in the Goldilocks or habitable zone. The habitable zone on Earth at this time where it doesn't spin around itself is the twilight zone. It's about 70 kilometers across. And right now it's the same thing. When the earth is spinning, the twilight zone is about 70 kilometers and it's always moving west. But in this story, it's not moving and it has stopped. They predict if something like this were to happen, the twilight zone of this area would be about 2.8 kilometers squared. And that's the size of something like Argentina. So this much land is very low for 8 billion people and everywhere is crowded. Everybody wants to get themselves to the Terminator line, but the powerful people will probably fence this area off and only let people they like through. And they say anybody that wants to come in, they have to be allowed. They don't let us in the twilight zone. Which side is better, the dark side or the light side? I don't mean to burst your bubble, but both of them are terrible. The light side is so hot that it's hard to breathe. Farmland does not work. Most places have a water problem. When you live on this side, you're always wishing for a cloud to come block out the sun for a little bit, but that cloud is never found. The dark side is even worse. It's always cold and there's nothing. All the waters have frozen. Most of the animals have died. Farming is impossible. And worst of all, it's always dark. So you think people that live in the Terminator line are having a good time? It is true that it's better, but they always have issues with liquid water. This side is always frozen. The other side, there is a drought and there's always shortage of water. When the earth is split into two different temperatures, the pressure of the air is extremely different throughout. And when two spots have high and low pressures, the chances of storms forming is extremely high. The twilight zone is also not safe from these storms because this is the exact point where the pressure difference meets. It is true that the weather is much better than both sides, but high speed winds pass by here all the time. The Terminator line people usually would probably want to build their house underground because if your building is on ground, there's a high chance it could get destroyed. The Twilight Zone residents will start their own business. They would go west 70 kilometers, get some ice, and sell it to the hot side. The hot side is dying of heat, but they have something that the others don't. They could install solar panels and create as much energy as they want and sell it not only to the cold side, but the twilight zone. When the sun is up 24 seven, you have a lot of energy being stored with these solar panels and the cold side requests electricity for ice. 
Because of the electricity, you could say the hot side will probably be more advanced than the cold side, and the electricity that's available to them makes their life a little easier. Even though they live in 50 to 60 centigrade weather, they can afford to have air conditioning. But the cold side has to buy electricity in order to turn their heater on. Either way, whatever part of the planet you're living at this point, you can't live on ground. Because on ground, there's a lot of dangers that could destroy you. In the hot weather, you could go underground to stay cool. The cold side is the opposite. You could go underground to stay warm. If you don't live underground in the twilight zone, the storms can take you. In this situation, the population of the planet is declining by the day. Same thing for animals. More than 90% of animals would be dead by now. Water and bread are something that is extremely rare now. And it's extremely difficult for someone to get it unless they know someone. Plants will see the most damage. In the cold spots, Photosynthesis won't take place, and they all die. In the hot section, there isn't enough water for it to continue growing. And even if you have water, the plants get burnt because of the heat and the sun directly above them. Unless they create greenhouse facilities where they can plant indoors and they can control the temperature inside the building. In terms of plants, the twilight zone doesn't have anything either because there's not enough sunlight for it to grow. In this type of temperature and weather, the only thing that could grow is mushrooms because it doesn't need a lot of light. And people will probably be eating mushrooms all the time. Either way, if you're in the twilight zone, the hot side or the cold side, depression will come to you. The hot side never sees night where it could calm down. It doesn't see the moon or the night sky for it to chill and relax, and they stay depressed because of that. The cold side is even worse because they don't even see the sun. If someone reaches 40 years old, you will be surprised. The twilight zone is not that good either because in our DNA, we have evolved in a way where we have to experience night and day together. So it doesn't affect our mood negatively. So if something like this actually happens, which side is better? In my opinion, the hot side is better before complete drought takes over. What do you guys think?